Hey family, this is Drea Beta, Coyote Walking in this world, real life, a Sleto Pueblo superhero, proud two-spirit indigenous warrior. Guess what family? I got defunded yesterday, $15,000 by the American Educational Research Association. I am the chair. I am the first two-spirited indigenous bisexual PTSD survivor revolutionary <laughs> chair they've ever had family. They don't know what to do with me. They think that they can silence me. They think that they can defund me and they think they can stop me family. But you know what? They don't know. I'm on a mission from my ancestors. I have two goals family. I need $15,000 in four days for two things. One, I'm gonna feed my food insecure graduate students. I had grandiose plans family at the beginning. I was gonna say, all right, breakfast and lunch, five days of the conference, right? No, I can't family. I was calling around catering. For one meal, the bare minimum is $25 a person. Whew, 20, let's, let's do the math on that family. So I need to feed, I need to feed my people. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry family, I'm gonna be singing. What you're doing right now is you are my safety blanket, okay? You are on this coyote's adventure with me. I'm gonna be making phone calls, family. I'm gonna be plotting. I'm gonna be burning the midnight oil because you know what? They think that they can stop me. They think that they have the power. But you know what, family? <laughs> we are going to prove to them not only the power of social media, but the love of our global family. This coyote knows that our angels are going to come. My gammy says so, family. So you're my witnesses. You're my safety blanket because this is very stressful, family. I have PTSD and it has been triggered many times. The American Educational Research Association has allowed for me to be bullied for two years. Two years. I'm currently fending off a case against slanderous charges, gross lies family, in which someone accused me of calling the white supremacists and creating a hostile work environment from them. Family, all I've ever tried to do was get away from my bullies. <laughs> I've never contacted them directly, um, especially after they bullied me that first time and I reported them over two years ago. So I'm just saying family on top of fighting for my life because of microaggressions and bullying and fighting tooth and nail for every penny that I'm trying to take um, to support our family. I literally wanna buy food for my graduate students. We are a food insecure family. The average graduate students makes $14,400 a year. That's all for 80 hours of our labor every month. And that's, um, you can actually get an additional eight hours family but legally, we can only ever work 20 hours as a graduate student. So you're lucky if you're able to get a 20 hour GA ship. The 20 hour GA ship family, that's the $14,400. Oh, it was a full time graduate student. Nope, don't quote me on that. It's a full time graduate student. That's coming from the UNM um, grad union family. Graduate students have been unionizing at the University of New Mexico. So let's figure that again. I need breakfast. I'm sorry, I lost breakfast family because I can't afford breakfast. So I'm shooting for lunch now. My grandiose, grandiose plans of, um, you know, breakfast and a lunch flew out the window. So what I'm trying to do right now, family, is I got uh, Thursday lunch, Friday lunch, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. No, Monday I'm gonna do breakfast family because a lot of people are gonna be flying out that day, so we're trying to do breakfast. So I got um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got four lunches. Let's write this down, family. I got some impossible goals. I got some impossible dreams. But you know what? Gammy says it's going to be OK. It's going to be OK. So let's go to the whiteboard family. <clears throat> so what you're doing right now is you are my safety blanket. <laughs> That's what's happening, family. You're my safety blanket. And I'm going to battle against the world's largest educational institution. So let's go ahead. And let's go to the planning board. I'm going to move my pottery and my um, oof, my office is a mess, family. But let's go to the drawing board and let's start making a list. What do I, what does this coyote have to do? Literally, what do I have to do? Right in the next four days, I have four days again, family. I have four days, four days in order to raise fifteen thousand dollars. You think I'm crazy? I know I am. Well, you know what? It's gonna be all right. Gammy, right? Gammy. Hey, Gammy. <laughs> Gammy says our angels are gonna come, family. Our donors are gonna come. Our uh, the people who are going to know 
that it is important for indigenous presence for indigenous presence at the world's largest annual conference family. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sorry, my lighting. My office and my lighting. I have so much to do. I'm so stressed, family. Ah! But you know what? It's gonna be okay because you're gonna be with me on the journey. I thought of that yesterday. I was like, I don't have to be by myself in the dark. I need witnesses. Y'all are witnessing what I'm going through. I've been hiding how bad it's been, family. A or A made me suicidal. Being chair of the American Educational Research Association Graduate Student Council made me suicidal because they allowed two people to bully me. Um, and I've been fighting for my life. They created a hostile work environment. And yesterday, they took my money. They defunded me yesterday, $15,000 family. On Friday, I was able to pay for my food and your graduate students as well as, as well as fund $12,000 for my indigenous guests. But guess what family? They would rather pay themselves in their own pockets, take food out of the graduate students' mouths, say no to Indian country because they would rather pay themselves for the panelists. 37 panelists who are sharing their expertise with the graduate students, thank you. We were trying to provide humanizing um, help during COVID, right? So we offered to cover the registration. They're volunteering their expertise and talents with us. And some of these professors would never have come to the conference because one is COVID and travel is too expensive, especially from Africa and Asia. And I'm saying that generally family because uh, I know a lot of people, I don't wanna put anyone on the spot, but the differential between what we are in the US and what they earn there is huge. So I'm under a lot of stress. Whew. I should be resting, family. It's Easter. It's a holiday. You're supposed to be with your family. I love my my love of my life, actually. He's doing laundry, family, because we're leaving on Wednesday for the conference. So he's doing laundry. He's taking care of the house. And this coyote's being all crazy, trying to find my money. So let's make a list. What do I have to do, family? What do I have to do? Okay, so first of all, our outreach plan. All right, one is phone calls, family. And you're gonna help me with the phone calls. I'm gonna be making a lot of phone calls in a little bit. And hey, if you would like to make phone calls on behalf, I'm working on a, a small script. So if you wanna make some phone calls for this coyote, you hit me up, DM me. Um, let me think, logistics. Logistics, and then I'm gonna say paperwork. All right, so paperwork, shout out to my amazing sis, Judith Landros and Amanda Haber, who have been the amazing editors for our newsletter family. I need to give you the final edits, I apologize. So I would need final edits of the newsletter. Then I need to make a flyer for my Friday event, family. I have been fielding emails. I've been making phone calls. I've been trying to raise money. So I forgot to make the flyer. <laughs> That's like the most fundamental thing, family. But when you have PTSD, let's be honest, you walk through the world slightly differently. So really focusing on the most important and immediate thing at, at that time is best. So let's stop beating ourselves up. Now let's celebrate when we do get done. Oh yeah. All right, so that is the flyer for Friday social. Shoot family. Yes, I have OCD, not clinically, but it helps with my PTSD. And technically I should make the flyer for Thursday before I make the flyer for Friday. Whew. Thursday flyer. And then I need Friday's flyer, flyer, right? So we have Thursdays of welcome. And this actually needs to go in the newsletter. So I need to do the flyer before I return the newsletter. So I need a flyer for Friday. Whew. I gotta make some phone calls. All right, family, we're gonna do this strategically. So I'm gonna make phone calls for an hour and then I'm gonna go to paperwork. 
So Friday, flyer, Friday. Okay, and let's do meals here. This is more of the catering order. So family, legit, what did we say I needed? How much money do I need? Oof. God, you guys. This is all because A year A is putting profits before people because they want to take imaginary money from my conference guest panelists, $11,000, that I have been trying to get and we have had donations in house family. So AERA SIGs are coming to the mat. Shout out to all my amazing SIG chairs and co-chairs. So let's see, 75 people at 25 a person is 1875. Plus taxes in California family for real. That's legit. So what are taxes like eight, nine percent? So let's see here. I have 75 people, $25 a person, that's $18.75. Let's add, I don't know, 8% tax in case. It's another 150 bucks. Okay, 150 bucks. Whew, $2,025 is what my budget is now, family, for those for that meals. Okay, so $75, 75 people. And then we have $25 a person is, oh shoot, how much was that again? I'm sorry, family, I can't do math. 75 plus 25 plus 100, whoa. 75 times 25 is 1,875. 1875 okay fine family i'm gonna look up tax what is food tax what is restaurant tax what is tax in california seeing william tax family honestly i wish you were there with me Oh my gosh, it depends on the county. Okay, let's say San Diego then. <clears throat> oh my gosh. All I want is a percentage family. All I wanted was a percentage. Pay sales or use taxes as effective rate at the sales location. Be responsible for collecting the district tax. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so complicated, you guys. 9%. Holy crap. 9%. All right, family, I'm just going to go with 10% just in case because I don't know what the taxes are. So this is something about counties. It's something about states. So 1875 times a 10% tax rate just in case. 1875. 2060 bucks. Oh, man. So per mail. We're looking at 2060 bucks ish 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 all right let's say breakfast oh, crap family let me try to get the breakfast at 15 bucks let's see if we can do breakfast at 15 bucks so let's see if we do breakfast at 15 bucks so that is so this is for the lunches and we did 10 percent tax just in case okay so this is lunches and wait a minute, how many of those do I have, family? So I have one on Thursday, one on Friday, one on Monday, nope, one on Saturday, Saturday, one on Sunday, and then we're gonna have breakfast only on Monday, family. I got defunded. And let's see if we can do breakfast at 15 bucks ahead. I know it sounds bad. 15. Okay, fine. I'll do 20. I'll do 20. 
20 times 75. I'm going to try for 15, honestly, family. Let's see what happens. <sighs> Fine. Fine. No, we'll do, okay, we're going to do 20. We're going to do it at 20 per, per person. 75 people. What is that? $20 times 75 people is $1,500 times the 10% tax, $1,650. All right, so Monday, I am now at $1,650. And then these guys are at 2060, 2060, 2060, 2060. All right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday with a breakfast on Monday. So let's see. Let's see what the grand total is, family. Let's see what this coyote can't afford because A or A decided to defund me. Because they'd rather put profits before people. 1650. Oh, that's not too bad, family. Whew. But this is not that great because I also need a social. Oh my gosh, family. So if I had a social, say for 100 people. $4,000, you think, family? Let's say $40 a person. And let's say 100 people. So that's 4,000 times my 10% tax, which is 400. So my new total now is 4,400. So 4,400 plus 9890 is $14,290. Then I need to feed my family, family. Whew. That's crazy. It's not impossible. Um, but now I need to book catering. All right, so I have to do phone calls. I need to do emails to SIGs and counsel for Reg. So I have $11,135 in registration fees. Again, AERA would rather take their own profits before helping their people. So I'm being charged um, $11,135 for our 37 guest panelist family. It was COVID and we're trying to provide some financial aid. Um, I had a budget and this was before we found out that AERA actually spent 21,000 on catering. So you guys are my safety blanket. You're helping me get through this really tough time. Um, I am literally, you guys are my witnesses. I'm raising that money, family. I'm going to find it. They think they got me? Ah, oh, they don't got me. You can't get this coyote. Never. All right, I got to do the email to the SIG and the council. Mm, I got to do an email to the officers, you guys. I have not been talking to them for a while. Uh, I need an email. Oh, logistics. I need a volunteer meeting, family. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, honest to God, I need an email response to Lori. Five, I need an email to UNM. Six, email to students. 
Okay, so paperwork, whew, paperwork wise, I need the ask letter for food. I have drafts for these families, I just have to edit them. And I need the ask letter for Indian country. All right, so whew, family, that's my to-do list literally for today and tomorrow. I hope you'll be sending me your prayers, your best wishes, your thoughts, but you're literally gonna be my safety net family. I got PTSD and doing this by myself is really hard. So you guys holding me accountable and being my safety net, my security blanket, thank you very much, I appreciate you. All right, let's go ahead and prioritize these family. I can only do so much in every day, right? I can't do all this stuff today, it's for real. I gotta go sleep at some point because I'm gonna be protesting tomorrow at UNM. So the booking and the catering, I think we can definitely wait until later. I'm going to give myself a limit on the phone calls and say maybe 45 minutes. But then I'm going to go ahead and do these things. So after I make some phone calls, I'm going to do these. So I'm going to do this first, then this, then this, then this, and then this. That's what I do, family. I have five things. The first thing I'm going to do... Make a flyer for Thursday, a flyer for Friday, and edit the two letters for food. But I'm going to make 30 minutes of phone calls real quick. Just to get the ball rolling, family. That's also an incredibly important part of our outreach. Yep. This coyote needs your help. I need your help, family. Oh, yeah. You know I need your help. Help, family. I need your help. I need your help, help, help. <laughs> Shoot, scripts. I forgot a script on there, family. Ugh, pledge letter and script. Hold on, I'm adding that. I'll be right back. I'm putting this on the board real quick. Pledge letter and script. Pledge letter and phone script. Script. Oh shoot, and the GoFundMe. Okay, just kidding, family. Let's try that first. I am gonna try the GoFundMe first. So yesterday, let's be honest, Emily. Yesterday, I couldn't make GoFundMe work. And then my amazing brother, John, shout out brother John. John Sims gave me some advice. Um, other people texted me advice. Thank you guys, I love you. Um, let's see if we can do it. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna try. La, 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 la. How are you guys doing today? Thank you for your love and support. <laughs> oh, family. This is, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have lots of adventures together. I am pretty excited, to be completely honest. Because we're on an adventure together. Happy Easter, family. Don't forget, happy Easter. One of my uh, new siblings, right? He told me, literally, um, that, um, you know, God's on our side. And I said, my ancestors are on our side. And it's going to be okay, family, because we're going to figure this out. All right. Go fund me. You are my witness. You are my safety net. <laughs> Family, we're gonna make a GoFundMe. Oh yeah, let's try this. Go fund me. La 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 la. Hey, how do I make this go away, Family? I have like, you know how you have that thing on the top of your computer. Here we go. Boom. It's making me a GoFundMe. We're making the GoFundMe. You know what, family? I'm going to go ahead and stop this Zoom real quick. I'm going to stop the share. I'll be right back, family. That was Battle Plan Part 1. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to go to the girls' room, little boys' room, coyote room. Kind of depends on the date, family. But I'll be right back, and then we'll continue a coverage, almost 24-hour coverage of the Pueblo Revolt 
Hashtag Pablo Revolt 2022. Hashtag Feed the Grads. A year A 2022. Hashtag I stand with Drake family. This coyote's got an impossible mission of $15,000 in four days. I gotta feed my grad students. I gotta support my indigenous guests at the world's largest educational conference. Don't you worry about this coyote. My ancestor says that the money will come, family. Because that's how we roll. We support each other. Indian country's gonna come out. I know it, I know it, I know it, know it, know it, family. All right, I'll be right back. Love y'all.